1921, two years before John Logie Baird had his moment of inspiration on the clifftop near Hastings, Farnsworth had a similar epiphany while working in a field. As he looked at the furrows he had just ploughed, he thought, hang on, you could scan an image with electrons if they were in rows like that. Genius. And he was only 14 years old. Fortunately for the Scott, on the other side of the Atlantic, the young American lad, Farnsworth, hadn't got very far developing his idea either. He was the eldest in the family, and when his father died in 1924, he had to give up his education, put his television dream on hold, and find work to support the rest of the family. But over in the United States, the young pretender was closing in. While Baird gorged his way through London's West End, an altogether more sober Farnsworth had settled down in San Francisco. The Utah farm boy, now aged 20, had set up a laboratory and was once more working obsessively on his television system. Though he had married, he remained faithful to his electronic mistress and confessed to his wife, I think you should know there's another woman in my life, and her name is Television. But his intellectual infidelity paid off. In less than a year, Farnsworth had a device that actually displayed an image. All of a sudden, Baird's mechanical system had an electronic rival. Farnsworth got his first picture on this In America, Farnsworth watched helpless as the mega corporation RCA claimed his invention as their own, broadcasting to the masses and getting all the glory. Deeply embittered, he gave up on television and turned his brilliant mind to nuclear fusion until drinking got the better of him. He didn't know when to stop. An overactive mind that never slept. He'd have some, at night sometimes, he'd have to have something to put him to sleep. He started taking a glass of wine and then he'd have one or two glasses later on. It's not a thing that we especially are proud of to say but the thing that took him in the end was alcohol. It was a sad ending for the American genius who took his inspiration from the land and invented what you and I call television.